hey guys so i'm in boston right now because i'm gonna get some more surgery <laughs> so we landed last night and i'm here with my dad who's gonna take care of me during surgery so at the moment we're just chilling waiting for the pre-op appointment which is tomorrow where i'm gonna go through everything with the plastic surgeon before we do anything the actual surgery is scheduled for in for like three days <clears throat> Sorry I'm looking shit by the way, I don't have any makeup on. But let me explain what surgery I'm gonna get. So, this is all surgery I've had before. <clears throat> <clears throat> I just want a couple of things a little different, so it's kind of a revision surgery. So I'm getting another eyebrow lift. And I just feel like, at the moment my eyebrows, they sit quite low on my face still. And I feel like that gives me quite like a heavy masculine brow, which I don't like. So I want more of like not crazy but like a lifted brow kind of like that well i can't see what it looks like now but something like that just to like open my eyes up and make my brow bone less heavy looking then i'm also getting another nose job because there's a couple things i'm not too happy with with my nose the first one is it's a little bit crooked you can't really tell or people tell me that they can't tell when i have makeup on but I feel like you can tell more without makeup. That hair, it gets kind of like a bump on the side and then the rest of my nose kind of goes this way. So I want that fixed. I also just want it a bit smaller, a bit more defined because my tip is just like a big round ball. So I'd like it to just be a bit more pinched. And then the last thing is my chin. I feel like it got a lot smaller after my first surgery but I don't like the shape of it. I feel like it's just like a big round potato. I just kind of want it shaved on the sides of it to give me more of like a defined pointed chin. But obviously because I've had it all done before there's only so much more they can do before. They start fucking up my face. So, <clears throat> sorry. Yeah, that's gonna be this video basically. It's just gonna be a vlog of the surgery, the recovery, um, the results at the end. I hope it's a fun video and that you enjoy it. So it's the night before surgery, it's just about to turn 12, or it just turned 12, so I'm not allowed to drink any more water or eat anything until surgery tomorrow, which is at 10am. So I had the pre-op appointment yesterday and everything went good. With surgery, the thing, I don't really get nervous about it, people always ask me if I'm like scared, but I don't really get scared. I, the only thing I really get nervous about is... If the results are going to be what I want, that I don't get nervous until like right before surgery when it hits that it's actually real. Because until then I don't feel like it's really real. I'm excited for this to be done and for it to be in like two months and I'll be so cute. This is the last time you'll see this face. Hey, so I just got, um, I'm back from the hospital, so I felt like super scary, um, the operation went fine, everything went good, I just took an oxycodone, uh, a bit ago, so hopefully I'll be feeling better in a minute, but I have a bit of a headache from the incision I think up here. Uh, I have to keep ice on it for 20 minutes and I just took that off. But yeah, everything's going good. Just a bit swollen. I have to go back tomorrow for a chicken. And that's it. Hey guys, so quick update, sorry that I look fucking scary as fuck. It's two days post-op now. I went in yesterday for a, um, just like a checkup, and they like, redid my bandages, just looked at everything, they said that everything was fine. As long as I stay on my meds, I'm not really in any pain. The only thing I really get is a headache, so it's not too bad. Yeah, my swelling started going down, especially in my chin and my eye. Yesterday I could barely open this eye because it was so swollen and 
black. So today it's better. I can open it and see, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check in with you again tomorrow. So I finally changed locations. I'm on the sofa now in the living room just trying to find something to watch on Netflix. Just got home from the post-op appointment. It went well. Turns out they didn't need to take out any of the um stitches because they're all dissolvable all the ones in my head and my nose and my mouth because that's how they did my chin is through my mouth they're all just going to dissolve by themselves which is amazing because last time that was the most painful part of, set, of the whole thing was getting my stitches out um and so i'm just going to go back in a couple of days and they're going to take my nose cast off and then i'm free to go back home and i feel quite good now i feel I hope for about the results. I feel like I'm going to be really happy with them. Uh, I don't have to wear the bandages now, apart from when I sleep and travel. So I'm going to have to wear them on the plane. So it's five in the morning now. We've got our flight home at eight. So we're going to head to the airport in like an hour. Yesterday I got my nose cast off. And so far I'm really happy with all the results. Like it's still really swollen, but I think it looks really good so far. But obviously I'll have to wait for the swelling to go down. But yeah, so far I think it looks really good. Oh my god, hey guys, it's still me. So it's been about two and a half weeks now since surgery. I think this is going to be my last like update before the final like reveal and when I'm fully healed because basically I'm I feel like I'm almost done but I just have still like some swelling most of the bruising's gone I still have my stitches but those are like dissolvable so those will go soon I finally I'm starting to manage to get my hair clean again from all the antibiotics and stuff I have to put on the on the incision but yeah I'm feeling good now I don't have any pain anymore I'm off my medication, finish the antibiotics, all of that. So everything's pretty good from now. Just have to wait for the swelling to go down. I think most of the swelling is in my chin and my chin is very numb, like I can't really feel it. And also the top of my head is numb, but both of those are normal and those happened last time as well. The next update will probably be the big reveal, so get ready. Are you ready? Hi guys! That was really anticlimactic. <laughs> Here we are, two months after surgery, and this is the result. Most of the swelling has gone down. You do stay a bit swollen for up to a year after your surgery, but most of it goes down in like the first couple months. So this is a pretty good indication of what the results are. I also had my lips and my cheeks done like two days ago. I noticed I don't know if it was from the swelling or from the... I don't know, but after my surgery I noticed that my lips like fully went away. Like all the filler I had was just gone and my lips were so small. Really? It might have just been that the rest of my face was swollen so it made them look weird. Over time I did notice that they started to come back but I did want to get them done again and yeah. I'm pretty happy with the results of the surgery. It is quite subtle. Most of the people that I've seen have either not noticed that I'd had anything done or they just say that I look like snatched. Like I just look the same but just enhanced. So again if you forgot I had my nose done, an eyebrow lift and my chin done. So yeah I think it it is all very subtle but it's good work and I don't, I definitely don't feel like I look like I've had loads of work done. I feel like you can, you would only really be able to tell the difference if you had like a before and after. It's like side by side um, of what I look like before surgery and after surgery. My chin is just a bit smaller and more defined. My nose is the same, a bit smaller and more defined. 
my brows are just slightly lifted. The major difference I think you can notice is my nose from the side. I'll turn to the side so you can see. It's a lot more like scooped now. Um, everything, that's what people will notice the most. And yeah, I am pretty happy with the how it's healing so far. I think it looks good. I do think I'm done with plastic surgery, at least on my face, for a little while. I think I need to calm down. I think after two nose jobs is when you need to chill out a bit. Obviously, I think I'll always want a smaller nose and I'll always want higher eyebrows and a smaller chin. But I think I have an unrealistic expectation in my head of what I want to look like. I'm just going to take it easy for a bit. I still want to get like my boobs and my butt done and stuff. But I can't afford that right now. So we'll see when that happens. The experience was so much easier than the first time I had my face done. Obviously I had a lot less work the second time, but the healing was faster, I was back on my feet a lot faster, I was able to leave my house again and start living my life way faster than last time, and I wasn't in pain or uncomfortable for as long. The healing is going good, all my incisions are healing well. In the future I might get like fillers in my nose or my chin or Botox in my forehead or something to enhance those features and go a bit further. But I do think that at this point I do need to chill out on the face surgery because I'm going to end up looking crazy and I don't want that. So far I've been really lucky and I think all my results look natural. The doctor was amazing and so sweet as to everything I wanted and everyone there is so nice. I went to, I'm going to just say who I went to because I know that that's all, what all the comments will be and I don't know if I've mentioned it before in the video. Um, I went to Dr. Spiegel in Boston, in America. I think he's really good for like subtle natural results that make a difference still. And yeah, I think I will always be that girl that wants a smaller nose and a smaller chin and higher eyebrows and bigger lips. Um, but I need to like realise how far I've come and what I used to look like because I do forget. I get used to it so quickly. But whenever I look back at pictures from back in the day, I, it is such a change and I need to like appreciate that. So yeah, I think I'm going to stop rambling now. That's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. Um, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions about anything. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video, it would be so helpful. And leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!